Would I lie to you? Probably. Hey guys, it's The Running Rocker here, and it's another collaboration video with Andy from Bumping Into Furniture. And this week, we are going to be doing Would I Lie To You, this board game here, which basically there's three different types of cards. This is Quick Fire, Ring of Truth, and each one is different. So, for instance, this is, I have make up an answer, so I would have to come up with an image that I would have to describe to Andy, and come up with a makeup answer. Then we have Ring of Truth, which is you're giving the start of a lie and the real answer, and then you have to come up with two of your own. And then we've got Quick Fire, where basically you get given the real answer, and then you have to come up with one answer, one fake answer, and then we basically have to pick which is the lie out of all of this. Or if you're lying at all. Or if you're lying at all. Would I lie to you? So now we're gonna shuffle these cards, then we're gonna go into, like, inter interlocking? No, we're gonna shuffle these cards, and then we're gonna go one after the other, doing a lie for each other, until we're out of cards. It's really hard to shovel six cards. Yeah. In 2001, Bill Gates spent four million pounds at auction buying the world's most valuable Rubik's Cube. Okay, and what's the picture? In the picture, I, do, I didn't realize it was a business. In, in the picture, there is basically a Rubik's Cube. Oh, am I allowed to just say the entire thing? Well, just describe the picture. There, yeah. There's basically the Rubik's Cube on this little stand, like 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 this, like the stand over there for that. Oh, Rubik's so it's cube. on it's on an angle. It's on an angle, and it's very shiny. What colours can you see? It's silver. <laughs> it's silver. Silver Rubik's silver. Cube. <laughs> right. It's a silver, silver. Yeah. Silver Rubik's Cube. <laughs> All sides are silver? No, 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 no. Each side has like a different pattern on it. Right. So you know like which side is what. So there isn't colors on it, but like there's, it's almost like a dice. Like there's all these twos and then there's like fives. Ah, uh, would I lie to you? Now, I'm not entirely sure. I believe this one. Uh, I'm gonna say that you're lying. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm lying. Yes! There's nothing there. One! The blood of lobsters and snails is A, blue, or B, yellow? A or B? A or B. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait, oh, we, which, what are we doing? Are, you, are we going for, you're, are you guessing the truth or are you guessing the lie? I'm guessing the truth. Okay. My guess is, I'm pretty sure, see here I'm thinking <laughs> all the poor crushed snails that I've seen in London. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh no. I'm pretty sure yellow is true. Okay, is that your final answer? That is my final answer. You're wrong. Damn! Blue, baby. Blue? Blue. I've never. Have you ever stood on a snail and lifted up your shoe? Oh, it's blue blood. I, I try to avoid stepping on snails because I'm a nice person. On board a ship, a compass is kept in a case called a binnacle, a binnacle, or a bicycle. No, it's not bicycle. Say them again. A binnacle, a binnacle, or a bicycle. Okay, what are the differences in spelling there? Okay. <laughs> well, one of them is B-I-N-N-A-C-L-E. Okay, yeah, yeah. And the other one's with just a single N. Yeah. I'm going binnacle, single N. Wrong. Oh! B I N N A C L E. I had to make it really hard because <laughs> it's like, can I come up with any crazier word to come up? Damn it! Okay, 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 yeah? okay, okay, okay. This is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Uh, in his front room, Johnny Depp has an electric chair. What is there an image to this? Yes. How, what's the electric chair look like? Uh, it's not a picture of an electric chair. It's not a picture. Of, what, what's it a picture of? It's a pirate flag. Pirate flag. Yep. Skull and crossbones on the flagpole. Blue sky behind it. It's got an eye patch. And you can see this from that tiny little image. Yep. Yeah. 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 Mhm. Mm okay. And um, so it says. Johnny. Uh, this is Johnny Depp. Picture of the pirate flag. In his front room, Johnny Depp has. So this an is Johnny chair. Depp, and there is a picture of Johnny Depp. No. No. no there isn't. Okay. So. There, 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 yeah. <laughs> so saying that the flag is Johnny Depp. Uh, no. It, the, well, well, the fact is Johnny Depp. Oh, the fact is Johnny yeah, Depp. Yeah. I, I think the picture is referring to his work in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh man. Okay. So uh, am I going to say that's a lie or the truth? Those are your two options. Yeah. Would I lie to you? Would I do that? Would I? In his front room, Johnny Depp has. See, 
I, I know, I know Andy's very cunning, very cunning, and I can imagine him faking that he doesn't know the image. <laughs> so I've been looking at his mannerisms, and it seems very, I don't know, emphasized, a very actor emphasized look. What do you mean? So I think you're telling me the truth. It's true. Mm. Look at that. Inspector Gadget right here. In Portugal, it's against the law to pee in the ocean. Okay. And it says at the top, which is, this is Portugal. No, no, no. It says in Portugal. Yeah, at the, at the top it should say this is. Yeah, this is Portugal. Okay. Yes. And what's the picture? It's the Portuguese flag. Which looks like. Which is. <laughs> Green and red, right. and it's not like down the middle, it's a little off to the side. Right. And it, it's got a yellow circle yeah. and a shield. It's got a shield in this circle. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's green and red, the line and a shield. And a circle. And a circle. Circle. Just a yellow, it's just a circle. Just it's a yellow it's circle. An unbroken circle. An unbroken circle with a shield in it. What's in the shield? I think it's more shields. <laughs> And it's four! Four more shields! It's, it's illegal to pee in the ocean. In the ocean. Would I lie to him? Hmm? You uh, know what? I'm unconvinced. Unconvinced. I'm, yeah. I'm going to say that that is what you're seeing and that's true. Yes. He's got it! I did not believe that you would know what well, that the was like. flat. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, I've got to pretend I'm looking into the distance that I am coming up with it from the top of my head <laughs> without looking at the card, but then I looked at the card several times. Several times. But then at the same time, I was trying to just throw you off. Yeah. Like, I felt it, but I didn't believe it. You felt it. Uh, I'm going to go for this one Ring of, Ring Ring of, of Truth. Truth. In order to keep cool, baseball legend Babe Ruth lined his cap with a cabbage leaf, lettuce leaf, or an opened Coke can. So, so wait, I'm, I'm assuming the coke can was like slit and then opened outwards rather than just opened and slit. <laughs> I'm assuming. So slit and, and it was either a lettuce leaf, lettuce leaf or cabbage leaf, or an open coke can, or an open coke. Can. Lettuce leaf, cabbage leaf, or an open coke can. So if I was a baseball legend, if you were baseball legend Babe Ruth, not just any baseball legend, Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth, would I see myself putting a cabbage leaf on my forehead or a lettuce leaf? Uh, it just says lined his cap with, so it could be a full one on his head. On his cap <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, he, he carved it out every night, right? Well, it's just a leaf. You don't need to carve it out. You just take it off. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming you'd have to replace it, and yeah. yet I don't think you'd be able to eat it afterwards. <laughs> Oh god, they're all so ridiculous that it doesn't really matter what I think. <laughs> um, you got you got lucky there. You got a pretty good ridiculous one. All right, I, I like the ridiculous ones. They're fun. I see the physics if you did use metal because metal conducts the heat out. Mm -hmm. But just the fact that the, oh, nah, you wouldn't use metal. But then why would you put a leaf in your hat? To keep yourself cool. It says this to keep cool. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know if it worked. I haven't asked him. Okay. Um, let's go for because this is sort of luck of the draw, isn't it? Would you put a leaf in your hat? Would I? Yeah. Probably not. What about coke hat? Open coke hat. I mean, I probably won't put any of those things in my hat. Oh, but if you had to. How would I had to? <laughs> to keep cool. If you had to pick one of those. I don't. I'd get an ice pack. All right. I'm gonna. <laughs> I, I'm gonna go with uh, lettuce leaf. Wrong. Cabbage leaf. Cabbage leaf. <laughs> Darn it! Elton John's middle name. Real middle name. Yeah. Because his real name isn't Elton John. Real middle, well, all it says is Elton John's middle name is Hercules or Athena. So he changed, he changed his name to Elton John for professional reasons. Yeah. I don't know if he gave himself a middle name as well. He might have, so. Well, this implies that he did. This implies that he did. And he didn't come out as gay until later in his career. But maybe he always was. Oh, Hercules. Hercules is true. <laughs> So apparently it's Elton <laughs> Hercules John. Best name ever. This is the moon. This is the moon. Of the 12 people who have walked on the moon, seven have the middle name Stephen. Middle name Stephen. Yes. I've never- Of the 12 people who walked on the moon, seven had the middle name Stephen. And the picture is the American flag that's stuck on the moon. You can see the outline of the moon and the American flag there. Is it going to the left or to the right? Right. All right. Is it drooped or is it? Well, no. It's 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 the it's sticking out with okay. the little wave thing in it. Okay. All right. And and black sky or do you yeah, see the? Yeah, black sky. 
the earth, black sky, the shadow, is it going to the right or to the left? All right, all right. And framing wise in this image, yeah. Is the flag? Uh, the flag's on, in the middle. But on like the, 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 pole, the middle. Well, the pole, the pole's on the left, and the flag is like pretty much dead center of the of the frame. All right. So the pole pole is to the left. Well, to, as far left as it would be. To okay. Get, to get the, the flag okay. in the middle. Okay. Okay, Andy. Okay. You're lying to me. Why? Because I know all the images of the moon. <laughs> Alexander the Great died after spending 10 days fornicating, drinking, or gambling. All of the above? <laughs> <laughs> um, drinking, fornicating, or gambling. Yes. 10 days straight. That's what I got here. Alexander the Great died after spending 10 days fornicating, drinking, or gambling. It doesn't say 10 days straight, it just says 10 days. It just says 10 yeah, days. It could have been he spent 10 days in his entire life doing these things. Yes. And then died. Yeah. <clears throat> or it could be straight. You know? uh, I, I think for the purpose of this, we'll assume it's just 10 days straight. Okay. Because I think that's what it's implying. I think that's what it's implying. Um, 10 days straight. I think all of those would kill you either way. <laughs> I don't think I could go three days straight drinking. I mean, gambling, ten days straight boning. I mean, knackering. God. It doesn't say with the same person, though, does it? No. And, I mean, it's I, Alexander I the this Great. This is Alexander you, the Great. He can assume. do whatever he wants. This is also the, the great day of the brothels. Well, it wasn't really brothels, was it, back then? Back then, it was more just parties. Yeah, they just... Everybody, I mean, to be fair, everybody he'd, was up he'd for show it. up and they'd go, holy shit, it's Alexander the Great. Take my and, panties. Exactly. They just <laughs> drop trout. Guys and girls. Uh, you know what? What? I think that it's boning. You think that it's boning? I think it's, what, fornicating. Fornicating. You're wrong. He died from drinking. Damn it! That was my second choice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't really die from gambling. Well, well no. I, I sort of dismissed that one. Since 1984, Australian Graham Barker has collected over 15 kilograms of a belly button fluff or B, earwax. What? So, can you repeat that again? Since 1984, Australian Graham Barker has collected over 15 kilograms of A, belly button fluff, or B, earwax. 15 I mean, kilograms? Mate. Got a hobby? Props, mate. No. That is his hobby. No, got a proper hobby. <laughs> that is his hobby. None He's of those are gonna it. benefit the planet at any point. I don't know. Could do. How? Tell me how how would okay. collecting earwax benefit the planet? Think of the candles. Think of the candles. So many candles. Oh, just think of the smell of burning earwax. Hey, Shrek does it. Yeah, but Shrek's got these like cute ears and it comes out like like that and then it just, like, just, uh, it just comes out as a candle. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Now, I'm going to slightly outdo you again because I know my Guinness World Record holders and I know my Ripley, believe it or not. God's sake, man! And I've never seen earwax. Really? Ever. So I'm pretty sure I've seen a good 10 jars of this guy <laughs> who's got belly button fluff. But not only that, you can tell what jumpers he's been wearing those months because the belly button fluff goes through colours of like pink, blue, orange, as he's been wearing that type of sweater. <laughs> so the belly button fluff is the real one. He's right. Yes. Oh, God damn it, man. <laughs> Me and my random There's... knowledge. There's nothing I can do about that. On her days off, Harry Potter star Emma Watson okay. likes to go bowling or fly fishing. Now, I'm a big Potter nerd. Are you? More books than in films to be fair. Okay. Because the books are way better. <laughs> Alright, but what about the actors have, in the films? I have heard that she likes fly fishing. I don't know where I heard that or if I'm bullshitting myself. <laughs> so I'm going to counter it and go, I think the bowling's the truth. You're wrong. Damn it! Fly fishing! Damn it! Apparently, Emma Watson loves a bit of fly fishing. <sighs> Shut She'll go off How the did lake I know and... that? Then I wasn't bullshitting myself. You should trust yourself more. Damn it. Charles Dickens always slept naked with three pillows or facing north. <laughs> so, can you say that again? So Charles Dickens always, always slept, slept naked, naked with three pillows or facing north. Charles Dickens. Three pillows. 
Yeah. How much do you think you like arrange these three pillows? Would it be like I used to, okay. Fun <laughs> fun fact, I used to sleep with one, two, three, four pillows. Really? Yeah. When I was in my bunk bed, because I was a little bit too big for my bunk bed. My head would hit off the top, so I put a pillow up nice. on the top. Clever, smart. I didn't want to hit my head off the side, so I put pillows on either side. Not so smart. And then pillow there. Oh, it was nice. It was. I liked it. I liked it. I'd be worried about kneeing this side more than my head going. No, I was fine with it. I grew up in it. Oh, so. yeah. All right. Naked with three pillows. Facing north. Facing north. Right. Charles Dickens is quite a weird character anyway, but... I can imagine a person would sleep naked every day. Facing, how can you face north while sleeping? I don't think it's facing north. Yeah, would that be feet north or head yeah, north? Yeah, head north, feet north, or... You'd assume, I'd assume feet <laughs> north. I'd just be like... <laughs> you'd assume, you like, sitting up, you'd be north, and then you'd be... That's how I picture it. Or, north is that way, and it's on his side. It's hard to say. Let, let's go naked. Oh, the answer? Yeah, answer is naked. He slept naked. Charles Dickens always slept facing north. What the hell? <laughs> that makes no sense. Oh. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed Would I Lie to You with the running rocker and bumping into furniture. If you want to see more of this, go and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, go and thumb up the video. Follow us at the social media links down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on rocking. I will bump into you later. Bum, 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 doo, doo, doo.